Okay, so we're going to get started with making a big clump, and this will be our starting point. This is compressed papier mache pulp dough. What it is, is paper that has been boiled down, strained into its pulp form, and then mixed with liquid starch. So then you can manipulate it like clay, but it is not clay. It is more rough, but it is easy to work with. And if you like working with clay, you might enjoy trying this process. So here I am pressing, making indentations and letting my fingers glide over it when I dip them into the liquid starch. I want to keep this nice and damp so that it's easier to work with creating the features. And that's what I want to do is make these features, these different parts on the face where the eyes will be the nose, the mouth, and the silly expression. I used one big piece and everything is being made out of this shape. You can add additional pieces if you would like and you can take away pieces. So I am just showing you on this one cat face how easy it is to work with this papier mache pulp dough. You can see how it's made by checking out my videos in my playlist. And it will show you how easy the process can be. I like to use a wooden pick to help me. You can use any tools that you like that make it easier for you. You can see the cat face is taking shape. It's going to have that sinister Cheshire grin. Please let me know if you like this type of content. And if you do, I would appreciate a thumbs up. I enjoy sculpting using different techniques in papier-mâché. Working with pulp is a lot of fun. You can work with it by itself or add it on over uh, the strip papier-mâché. And for me, it's very relaxing. If you would like private instruction, just uh, contact me and we can discuss that as well. This is just one of many projects that can be made using the papier-mâché pulp dough. And here I am putting in the little eyes. You can use glass eyes or anything you like. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.